Now, if you don't know who they are, they were the developers of one of my favorite games of 2018, a game called Mutant Year Zero. That was an excellent adventure tactical. It's not like XCOM. It wasn't a. It wasn't a. Um, you didn't have like a base, uh, like a base of operations. You weren't building up a headquarters and doing a global map. Uh, sort of thing you're actually roaming around environments in real time but when you encountered enemies it quickly became a full-blown turn-based tactical combat situation and i think the mix of the adventure elements with heavy story with the combat was a really nice change of pace because for the most part whenever people make a uh, turn-based tactical game they just copy xcom you know for good or bad that's just what they do uh, so it was nice to see someone do something different in that space. Uh, we're just going to make sure we have all the options here. Obviously, controller works day one. Day minus two, actually. This game now, uh, it gets released on Monday on the Epic Store, which I know people get kind of iffy about. In the near future, a second American Civil War breaks out between two factions. The Knack and the Upa. Misinformation and propaganda blur the truth and feeds the hate between the two factions. Technology has turned soldiers into living machines, commanded remotely from outside the battlefield. Hey, they got a small budget. I'm trying to help out. These units have little left of their humanity. All local units. Okay. I'll take a 10% commission on every sale. Okay, yeah, we got some Terminator stuff happening right now. I just need the blood red. Never mind, I got it. Camera online. Right, this looks like what happens after I do a couple battles. bios well am I just playing because that's a pretty wow this game looks Commander, real nice mission navigator EOS I need you to close all other comms and remain on this channel your priority should be to locate any surviving crew members and link them to the squad sending some rough coordinates to get you started pistol assault rifle pretty basic Very sorry, Commander. This unit is too badly injured. They won't make it. Medevac is coming. But something bad had to happen to us because we got we're pretty ruined here. Great. That's one unit linked to the squad. Riggs and Wolf. Okay. Now I do have a technical editor who also reviews like more PC focused uh, titles and plays them with me. Know him as a uh, Mike McCallion. If, you've, if you've seen me play Total War, you know him. Uh, and judging by what I know of him, if he saw Wolf, he'd be like, oh, "That's my character." He has a hoodie on. His name's Wolf. My guy. Okay, so this is the thing about Mutant Year Zero, for those who don't know, like I said, you engage in combat tactically, but you're able to freely move around and position yourself before a fight breaks out, because everything is in real time. You're on a persistent world map at all times. If you break that cone right there, they'll detect you, so we're going to get in cover. So he's hidden. That's nice. In the old game, they didn't do anything like stealth like that. So let's see if I can set up Wolf to be in a good spot for an ambush. 
but I do see more guys. him there because he's at least able to oh there I don't know I don't know about that cover he's gonna be immediately exposed I might have them stay on both one side because this guy in the house is gonna be a problem at least here you can get a clean shot and also avoid clean shots from those guys all right uh, see if we can move him All right, this looks like a much better spot. I'm gonna begin the ambush. What's up, Jablo? Happy Valentine's Day, my friend. Everyone, Jablo's in the chat. Say what's up to Jablo. And what was it, Lonely Eyes? Lonely Dog Eyes? You're excited to see this? I don't know if you are familiar with this or if you know the team, but if so, welcome. Thank you for the follow, by the way. It happened while I was streaming. Um, okay, let's ambush. Oh, wait, he can't. Am I too far away? I might be too far away. I need to get a little closer. Alright, combat is turn based. Each unit in your squad gets two action points per turn. Like I said, there's some there's some parts that are familiar if you've played any modern turn-based tactical combat game especially post XCOM uh, definitely shares some DNA with some of the basic rules of the genre but there are some differences notably like the powers you have in mutant year zero you had different mutations and a skill tree that will allow you to use things like flight and roots and heals and it had a little bit of fantasy mixed in with the uh, gunplay I don't know if they're gonna have that here or if it's gonna be a little bit different but I expect this being a spiritual sequel They'd have some of those elements retaining. Um, okay. I have not been spotted. Stealth is also a major part of these games. Like, whole battles can be won or lost based on how you begin them. And if you get caught out in the open, you will get destroyed before the fight even gets started. Uh, activating this unit will engage in combat. And let's activate Briggs. Let's see what he can do here. Fire a weapon. Overwatch. Dig down. Alright, it looks like he has a 75% chance. And then you see on the right side, they do a good job of giving you all the data about what you're going to do if you're about to crit. Nothing too fancy. But let's uh, take a shot at this guy and see what happens. Great kill. Right, looks like we got him. Another uh, element to these games is if you ambush and kill that enemy, you won't necessarily alert the other ones. Now, if they're too close, they will hear it and then get pulled into the combat, but... Okay, so he's there. Let's move Wolf. Have him flank around the side. So I'm going to have, using red covers, like I said, this is also very different, uh, I mean very similar if you played an XCOM game, low cover, more full cover, uh, flanking a cover position will cancel its defensive bonus. A red cover indicates an enemy is currently able to flank this position, okay, that's new. That wasn't in the uh, previous title. Uh, okay, activate. Oh, this is going to be an easy fight. Easy fight. Now, when you ambush, you have a chance to activate all your stealth units before they can move. And this guy is completely done for. Excellent. 
That's the last surviving unit. Checking the status of our VTOL. The dropship was destroyed upon impact. All ordnance carried on board has also been lost. Scanning the area for alternative transport. My cats are going crazy. Uh, the rescue unit has a silent weapon. Silent weapons can be used while sneaking to kill Iceland enemies without being heard. Okay. So, yes. Right. Oh, hold on. I found an NAC harpy in close vicinity, unarmed but heavily armored. So you should be able to bully through any flak. Sending coordinates. So, yes. Uh, Diablo points out in the chat that uh, Phoenix Point is a game similar to XCOM. And that is an actual game made by former original XCOM developers. And that very much is XCOM. You have a base. You're building up a base. Every campaign is going to play out differently. This is different. Like I said, this is how you play these games. If you ever played Mutant Year Zero, which I reviewed back in 2018, this as you can see, we are roaming around this map, and that's how you play this game. It is an adventure game. You roam around in real time. You find items. You find side quests. Explore areas. And when you get into combat, it becomes turn-based. But these games are different. You and Your Zero had a set storyline. There were some side paths, but it was very narrative focused. It took me about it's like a 15 to 20 hour game, and it's like a complete storyline, and that's what this is supposed to be like. It's not like XCOM where it's, um, you know, infinite campaigns because they can go differently. It's This is a set storyline. They said about 20 to 25 hours if you're playing on one of the harder settings. Uh, and have experience, so take with that what you will for how this game is going to play out. Let's head back to our evac point. They did say uh, they are working on it for console. They already said that. Most likely the remainder of the response team. It's launching Monday on PC in the Epic Store, and then they're going to be focusing on the console versions. Because right now, I'm playing with the controller, and it's perfectly configured to work with the controller. Like I said, if you play Mutant Year Zero, it was on Game Pass when it launched, and it played great on console. Uh, the pace of the game allows it to uh, function well like that. Now the thing is, Mutant Year Zero was based on a property that didn't belong to them, and I believe that's why they took their, you know, the success that Mutant Year Zero had and used it to self-publish this title, which is completely original. And I gotta say, I don't know how it's coming across on the stream, but it looks nice. This is a nice looking game, like this fog, the lighting, um, the look of it is really strong so far. Are you saying this? President Ford is right. UPA are monsters and they're coming to take it off from us hardworking Americans. I've been here my whole life and I want to move to the big city, but now these here assholes are driving us further and toward the capital. The house is still there when we return. Commander, you are free to approach your objective however you like. Use sneak to scope out objectives and look for weak points. Or use brute force to attempt to overpower the enemy. Oh, so they got a big base here. Distraction. That I think that's a new element. Let's leave him there. Wolf and Tranter, let's move around. Because Tranter has a silenced weapon. I'm going to try to create like a triangle. I wonder if this light will get us spotted. Okay, no. Looks great, but no. Wolf there. I 
like I said, Tranter has a silenced weapon. Uh, the thing about this game, because it works, Mutant Year Zero almost had a... It was tactical combat, yes. But it had a lot of RPG elements like enemy levels. And then because of the scenarios you were placed in, it almost felt like a puzzle game. Where it was like, okay, I had to figure out this combat puzzle. How I best want to solve these uh, encounters and minimize damage to myself. Okay, so he looks pretty isolated. Four damage, six crit. fire a weapon he has a pretty good shot to kill even with a silenced weapon so let's do it let's see if we can take him out you know Tranter you just joined the squad and I'm kind of suspicious of your fucking Loyalty when you miss a shot that open Got it That's how it's supposed to get done What's up wolf enemy heard me okay, oh but wolf Lies and wait. No, we got enemies over here. Cross the rifle. Oh, we all suck at shooting, apparently. Monitoring position. <laughs> Ooh, that's a that's a hell of a hit. I do have a med kit I could use. All right. Reloading will only take one turn, one action point. All right, fire weapon. Okay, there we go. Nice rifle shot, right to the chest. My character's still here. Only a 25% chance to hit because he's in, he's in an entrenched position. Now I do like this, when you go to make your moves, the game will show you your percentages so you can know a little bit better ahead of time, moving to a certain location, what it's gonna do for your, uh, your accuracy. Uh, but let's see if we can do something with him. Because he has still a 75% chance. This guy's looking right at him. I should probably move him to high cover. Ten four. Okay, now he can take a shot. There we go. <laughs> What's up, Rubik? I will say these guys have been a little bit better about that percentage stuff. Um, not as egregious as some others that I, I know of in the field. Eyes sharp. Overwatch. Okay, Overwatch. I should probably heal this guy. I don't want him to die on me. What do you want? My cat wants to be part of the stream, everybody. Let's move him. Or her. Is that a her? I think it is. Out of range. So Tranter is kind of out in hiding. I don't think people really see him. But there is a character right there that could come across his line of sight. Overwatch. Let's see if they come to us. Position. Fuck. 
No, that is a special unit. We have an we have an enemy. Where did he move? Oh, he's right over there. Damn, I kind of don't like him being so close. Plus, he has 10 HP. He's probably gonna be. Let's see if I move him over here. Then he's in line of sight. My first inclination is to put him in overwatch. Let this guy turn the corner on him. Let's reload. Let's overwatch. overwatch. Affirmative. Alright, he has a rifle. Mm, with his pistol, he has a 50% chance to hit. Do it. Oh, he got him. Okay. Oh, he wasted Overwatch on this guy. No. Not good. All right, reload. And he has a better chance to pistol than anything else. Roger. I can get a chance to shoot, but at least he's in good cover. No chance to hit, huh? Man, this guy is very good, apparently. All right, I'm gonna need him to sprint. He can get out of danger. I don't know if there's anywhere he can go, though. If he gets another clean hit, he might die. Hmm. I'm kind of tempted to move him back here. Oh, but he'll have a clean line of sight, too. This is not a great cover position. Man, I, I'm kind of at a really rough spot right here. There's not really any great angle for me to take. Problem is, this guy only has a pistol, so I feel like even if he gets a shot at me, it's only going to be a two damage shot. Alright, let's move him here. <coughs> her. Wolf is a her. Okay, Wolf, can you please hit this shot? Alright, now Tranter can move in and focus on destroying this bastard. All right, we just flanked their cover. Now I have a 100% chance to hit. Oh no. So do they. Man, that's not gonna kill. Let's move around. Alright, now Wolf, all you gotta do is just come in for the easy... You know what? I should move up. Nicely done, Commander. 
pilots are ride secured. I will update you from inside the heartbeat. Like the thing is about this game is when a mission ends, we're not going to a uh, base and having some time to you know unwind. Like you may have to be careful because you may have like a area where you're doing a lot of battles in a row. And as you see, everything I have here is the same. I don't magically heal after combat. You want to try to get through as, as minimal damage as possible, which I did not do a good job of. So let's hop in here and see what happens. Okay, looks like we have these implants, augmented leap. Whilst having an almost unlimited battery life, the maximum strength of an augmented limbs is purposely limited to prevent injury to the unit and to avoid unnecessary wear in the equipment. This module briefly overrides the leg limiters, which allows for a single superhuman leap. The unit is able to leap a great distance will also knock down enemies. Okay, now we're getting some abilities. Grants the ability for a squad to convert regular explosive grenades to anti-personal incendiaries. Okay, two fire damage over two turns. Commander, I am patching directly into the Harpy's onboard computer. Operation data incoming. <laughs> My cat is going crazy. I gotta go get see what's wrong with them after this. Five hours ago, an NAC communique was intercepted, which highlighted the activation of a weapon of mass destruction. Code name, Savior. The exact location of this site is unknown. We believe that this weapon is to be used in a retaliatory strike against the UPA. Your mission is to locate and secure Savior at any cost. Yeah, there's these two different forces, uh, the NAC and the UPA. I'm working for the UPA, which are units basically robots who are remotely controlled from like a central location these are your current available missions the upa will authorize implant usage depending on mission performance if you are feeling like you really want to stick it to the nac you can try to earn some medals okay looks like we have some this is where you can assign weapons and implants oh Each boy it can carry up to two weapons into the field they can be given up to three active implants in any combination you like. Squad stats and passive implant data is also displayed here. Okay, looks like we're getting to the meat of the game here. This screen shows our current knowledge of NAC territory. You can choose your landing site and view NAC intel. Be advised, you cannot change the squad's loadout during an active mission. Okay, so we have these different operations. I'm guessing these are like the acts in the game. Because uh, I know the game is supposed to be three central acts. And this build I have is just act one. Which I'm guessing is this right here. Um, but it looks like we have like optional missions that we can go do. That will give us these new abilities that look really nice. Weapon range is 25%. Now we have metals. Now the metals and stuff like that seem like they're going to be a really good way to replay stuff. I'm not sure what the metals do. I'm guessing maybe the metals are how we unlock new upgrades for the characters. Kill seven enemy units using Boyo Max 15. I don't even know what that means. Uh, oh, here's our loadout now. We can look at every character we got. The Briggs. Time as a leader, deaths, loud kills, silent kills. Okay, we have all their stats. I don't have any other guns at the moment. A lot of implants I do not have. But let's give uh, him the augmented leap. Now, can we all wear it? No. So the implants are just single character use only. Hmm. Okay, 
Okay, I think he'll have it. I think he'll keep it. See what these missions do for us. Uh, bottleneck. The Stafford Lane toll station once monitored the highway between Chase County and Broken Wheel due to increase GP activity in the region. Eliminate all hostiles in the area. Kill three enemy units without causing an alert. The reward is a Zebra Shotgun 33, which looks very nice. Look at that video example of what they're doing. All right, let's... This mission looks like it has a bubble shield. An ability to generate hard cover, even out in the open. That seems very useful, so we're going to go do that first. Location, Shady X Hotel. This is Checkpoint Yellow. These are all locked. So. Okay, we're gonna go right there. We're gonna go drop. Now I'm curious if the game's gonna let me roam between the areas freely or will I have to pick a drop zone? Levels of signal decay in the area. The jammers must be close. Keep an eye out for the master terminal. If your units can access this, it will deactivate all the jamming towers connected to it. Commander, have your units locate and disable the master terminal. And if it's anything like Mutant Year Zero, there's going to be things to find in the environment. Uh, lore... Items like med kits and things like that. Yep, sure enough. The flu shot. How many people in the chat got their flu shot this year? I had to because the baby. I'm like, oh, you need to. And I ended up doing it. And I felt like shit for like a month. Never doing it again. Oh, got some dead civvies. Man, they got destroyed. And as you can see, these environments are just absolutely massive. Like, they're really, really big. Okay, he's a maximum of one tactical round during the entire mission. That seems like a really hard objective. Okay, we got a lot of enemies that way. Patrol we'll around and see what else we got. Put Briggs down here. This truck is not cover, apparently, which is not good. Okay, yeah, it is. There we go. There we go. Let's move Wolf out. We can get on this roof. I feel like Tranter would be great there because he has a silenced weapon. Get him going up there. And he has the rifle. Single shot. He has like uh, wolfy live accuracy, but maybe he can do some damage. Wait a minute. I don't know who that guy is, but he has a shield. Yeah, he has a piece of armor. 
which I have not seen anybody else have so far. Come on, climb this ladder. Okay, nice. That bubble changed because he's below me, so I'm not going to trigger him. I feel like also putting Wolf on the rooftop. In fact, I wonder, because this guy is isolated, if we're better off all of us focus firing this one enemy especially because he's uh, much tougher than the average one and trying to burn him in one single turn and hopefully no one gets alerted if we can wipe him out in one shot because look we have perfect shots on him yeah I'm going to do that change of plan Music is pretty good. It's very tense. Now, I want to make sure. Yeah, baby. I promise I won't save scum. Don't believe me. Uh, like I said, for those who are interested in this game, it comes out on Monday. Uh, $20 on the Epic Game Store. And they, uh, they will have more news about the console later, but I will say with the controller, it's working perfect right now. Uh, okay, I think we're going to do this. I think we're going to try to ambush this guy. Lakito Snake. I'm going to have Tranter shoot first. Oh, he has a 100% chance to hit. He's not going to die, but let's try it. Ooh, critical! Okay, hold on. Briggs. Another critical. Well, everyone heard us. The only thing helping us is that, at least for in high cover, we're gonna have to hold on this gas station. Man, there's a lot of guys. As long as, long as no one figures out how to climb. All right, so. Is there no ladder here? Okay, no, there's no ladder there. And I say we get into position and go into Overwatch because they're going to have to run right into us. Ah, he's got to reload. I don't know how they're gonna get up here. If they if they gotta go through the ladder, then they're easy to take out as soon as they climb up to us. I mean, we'll annihilate them. Overwatch. Okay, we gotta hit on them. I hope they don't have any grenades. That would go very poorly for us. Um. What I was going to say before I decided to take action and make everything get a little crazy is that I am the uh, lead reviews editor for Rectify Gaming, so I will be reviewing this as well. A uh, review will probably be going up next week. 
when I get to the campaign. Uh, but so far, this is really strong. Less story focus in Mutant Year Zero. I mean, it's a different universe. It's their own creation, which I was kind of uh, expecting. But so far, gameplay-wise, it's, it's definitely like a spiritual sequel to that game. All right, let's take the shot. Oh, almost got him. They can shoot right below him, huh? Damn, that was a crazy angle. It looks like they're gonna start coming. I know there's more guys over there. Covering area. Yeah, these guys especially. Gonna wait them out. Oh no, he had enough movement points? That's a sprint, that's gotta be a sprint. There's no way he ran that hot, that far. All right, let's see if we can go for a flank on this guy. I mean, I could flank right up on him and hit him 100% chance. Avita saying, oh, no, didn't do as much damage as I was hoping. I mean, I can run right up on this guy as well. Problem is, this guy is going to come up the ladder. have to you put an overwatch have breaks move here and take the shot got that oh I could go for the kill oh he's in range shit I should have paid attention to that covering I think about him just being able to look right at me and shoot me with a pistol. God damn it. Okay, that was a good hit. Oh, he ran? Oh, what a punk ass. Alright, let's reload. Move back over here. That unfortunately end the turn though. Also needs to reload. Holding position. Loading up. Defending. When he comes up here, he's gonna have he's gonna get shot. How did they not trigger Overwatch? Holding. Did he pick like the perfect spot? I mean, I don't know what he was thinking. <laughs> I'm like right there looking at him. Poor guy. Didn't didn't really think that one through. Confirm. All right, girl, take your shot. do with me I think I'm in such a good spot the AI is just kind of like I feel like they're just a little lost Got it. you know, I took a chance there I took a chance
I can super jump. But is there no other enemies? I kind of want to try out the super jump real quick and see how it works. Maybe I'll put a... Uh, Put her into uh, Overwatch. Overwatch. And then I'll try the augmented leap. See if I can land like right on him, and if it'll damage him. All right. Cooldowns are not time-based, but require the indicated number of enemy kills. Oh. Wait, Raz. Heard some other streamers pointing at the Overwatch as the nice and triggers it should. Yes. Yeah, so. They, when they set in mind you, this is an early build. It only has the first two and a half to three hours of the game. And they said that on Monday, there's going to be a big patch and it'll be the complete experience and lots of little bugs that I may notice little like translation errors, some game mechanic bugs will be fixed. And uh, I have no reason to doubt them. <coughs> now Monday comes and that doesn't happen. It's a different story, but it's a preview build, stuff like that happens. Holy shit, that was cool. Oh, I went right through the floor. And I can still shoot after I do it? Oh man. I really dove. Look how cool that is. Let's clip that, everybody. Someone can make a clip of that sequence. I dove right through the gas station floor. Uh, the roof, I mean, and just blasted that guy in the face. That was neat. Follow me. Yep. And uh, they're actually able to drop down through that hole. That's really cool. I like that. All right, so we made it through okay. Only got one pistol shot from some rogue... Some rogue... Uh, soldier there. Got it lucky. Could that the NAC are frugal to an excess. Why dig? When there's already a suitable tomb to fill. Remote explosives are found in the combat zone, can be placed anywhere outside of combat. Pink flamingo, I see the bat. Okay, I like it. Oh, we still have, en have enemies over there. Oh, we still have enemies over here. What am I doing? I'm over here about to just run into guys willy-nilly. Okay, I'm trying to think. I don't want this to play out. We have two guys here. I have my cat in the background. I wonder if we sabotage the radio, will those guys come towards us to see what's happening? Random memorandum due to recent events concerning agents. All ground units must observe these protocols in immediate effect. Like, I wonder if I put these guys in the cover. And trigger this radio. Okay, no, that's just like an actual radio. It's not like a radio that's gonna call people toward me. Oh, uh, that sounded fucked up. Now I could. Do any of us have the explosion? Going solo. On me. So disperse. <laughs> okay, I was able to teleport him. I was a little worried there that we came across a pretty bad bug. And he got stuck in the environment. Thank God that wasn't the case. Just bad. 
So what I want to do is set up... See, what I wonder is... Um... Is if I walk into this red, will I just trigger the combat right away? Okay, I will. I have to load it. I don't want to do that. I wanted to test it out. Let's load it. Okay, so you can't walk in the red even if you're cloaked. You'll just trigger combat right away. Obviously, that's no bueno. No buenas. You don't want to do that. Now, for explosive Computers setting. Close to the jammer's control terminal. My readings just spiked suddenly. That's primed. That's a big explosive radius. Setting charge. Okay, everyone's caught in that. On me. That that explosion will catch two people in there. Whoa! Celtic Kennedy's Iron Man. What up? What's up, Celtic one? No Batman message? Sad. To all residents of the Broken Wheel Bridge area. Celtic, man, you came at the right time. I'm doing stealth. Alright, I gotta see how I can get up on the second floor. Because if I can get up top and rain down from above, that would be fantastic. Personal belongings. Individuals whose stay at the motel was cut short. Or never even began. These liquidators, these liquidators are tough because they're... They're 10 health, man. They just take a lot of damage. But they're guarding the ladder, man. I need that ladder. That's how I get up top. Oh, wait. They're moving. Okay. Oh, that's not good. All right, sound the shot, sound the shot. Let's go, regroup, regroup, regroup. Grab that grenade. Config grenades are found in the combat zone. It can be thrown during combat. <coughs> Config grenades can be configured to perform different actions before they are thrown by pressing. These effects depend on the squad upgrades you have unlocked by completing missions. Okay. Oh, let's climb this ladder quick, 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 quick. We stealthed them out. We stealthed them out. Now we get the high ground. Just like Anakin wanted. Okay, we got a med kit. Okay, so we have the liquidator, protector. Another protector. Now I know this protector gets in range of that explosive I just put down. Problem with me is, is I don't know how much damage that explosive is going to do, especially to the guy right here on the edge. And I kind of want to put myself in position to damage the liquidators as much as possible. Oh, we can go up even further. Oh, excellent. This is even better. Going solo. All right, I want him to go up here. Problem with up here is there's not a lot of good cover, though. Because <coughs> even if I took him out of cover, I don't think he'd have a shot in that dude.
I'm going to split these guys up. I'm going to put Tranter here. her right here although if they run out there and start shooting inwards oh, I gotta do it now I gotta make my move gotta make my move he's in range of the explosive let's trigger the explosive <coughs> activate oh then we get a chance to attack oh that's even better uh, detonate explosive Uh, no one <laughs> worry about what just happened. Okay, the explosion had a much bigger radius than I could have possibly predicted. Uh, we don't need to discuss the events that transpired. We're just going to put our guys in cover much further away than where that bomb was. Because I did not think the entire environment was destructible to that level. I'm just going to say that. Detonating charge. Alright, let's detonate this charge this time and uh, see what happens. Because that thing killed everything over there. The entire building... I don't know if this enemy is going to know anything that happened. Okay, he, he's aware of something, but not, not sure what. Oh, I didn't even see that liquidator over there. Ooh, good hit, Wolf. I gotta say, I'm pretty scared of grenades now, knowing what I know about how destructive they are. Catch this! Friendly's down! That's good. I'm out. Out of range, really? Overwatch, I guess. Oh, good hit. Oh, we have too much good cover right here. Reloading. Fucking terrorists. So I wonder if I super jump. Oh, but I don't think Wolf will be in position to actually shoot this thing. But I will be in position. Huh. Out of range. Still out of range, even if I do that. Area. 
I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try to super jump. That's so awesome looking. Uh oh. Oh, I was playing with my life. I, I may have played with my life doing that, making that move. On it. Oof. One tap to the back of the head. Yeah, I just had to do the super jump. I gotta, I gotta try for the style points. But it doesn't do that much damage that I can just... Mission completed.